This year, the Knox County District Attorney General's Office says 207 people have died of suspected drug overdoses, including 22 just this month. That is well on track to break the previous all-time high of 383 set last year. Well, tonight, we are learning more about those overdoses in 2020. 10 News reporter Grace King explains. 2020 was definitely a very frustrating year. For those fighting against addiction, 2020 was a challenge. Addiction as a disease is a disease that isolates. Drug-related deaths hit an all-time high in Knox and Anderson counties. The Regional Forensic Center reports 464 lives lost. Every one of those families is now missing a mother, a father, a brother, a sister, a loved one. Some trends reflect previous years. Our number one drug uh, found in our overdose deaths is fentanyl. Uh, it has been fentanyl for the last several years. Other trends are newer. Where we saw the most significant increase in deaths was in uh, the range of 55 to 65 year olds. Metro Drug Coalition hopes those trends will change as face-to-face -face help returns. They need to get out and form a community of others in recovery. So we're very hopeful that, you know, those connections are now happening. I'm Grace King reporting. As for the District Attorney General's Office, they are more focused on prosecution. The Overdose Death Task Force investigates every single overdose case in Knox County as a potential homicide. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, you can find resources right now at WBIR.com. Just go to the menu at the top of the screen, click the right arrow and select OD Epidemic.